the hardest thing about this question is you can't write on the screen when you take the test. So the way I find median is by crossing out numbers because remember the median is the middle number when the set is in order. And since this is question one, they're giving it to you in the best possible way, right? These numbers are in order. You should double check, but they're in order. So you're just going to kind of cross out one from each end until you get to the middle. So we can cross out the 73 and the 91, the 74 and the 85, the 75 and the 84, the 77 and the 82. And there it is. 79 is the only middle number. So we're done. Um, if this were the real test, I'd probably just kind of like put my fingers up on like the screen and kind of like move them towards the middle slowly. Uh, or, you know, it's not really that much time. You just write the list down on your scratch paper and cross it out. You really don't want to make a mistake on something like this. Um, just because I need to kind of stretch this out a couple more seconds, I will say that, remember, if we did this and we ended up with two middle numbers, so let's just say 79 and 82 happen to be in the middle, then the median is going to be the average of those two numbers. So add them together, divide by two, and that's what you would get. So in this case, I kind of picked annoying numbers that I have to use the calculator for. So 161 divided by two is 80. Point five. So that would be the median if there were two numbers. But again, not happening here. But it is something that could happen on a, on a slightly harder question. But yeah, no median, no mean, no mode, oh, all that stuff. You got to know all the definitions for the statistics terms because half the time when they ask about them, it's literally just knowing the definition.